Alright guys, so we're down here near Odin, Arkansas. We've got Colby back here. Uh, anyway, we're going to check out one of his food plots that he's got back here. We came in here, what, a year ago? Yeah, kind of cool. found this little hidden gem mm -hmm. and uh, kind of came up with a plan for him to start working on it and it really transformed this area. So we're going to go in here and see what he's done in this area and show you guys how cool this spot is. It's one of those little honey hole areas that once you find it you know that the big bucks are going to use it and by coming in here doing some management practices that he's done it's really improved it and so this year we expect to probably see even a whole lot more deer out of here and hopefully harvest some deer out of here but we're going to sneak back in here and show you guys this setup because it is a really unique setup what are those <laughs> this is my checking camera card so he's got a nice little brush hog trail. That's one thing that's nice about the way he's got this food plot set up. He's got a nice easy access point where he's not going to come through the main area of this property or this little section of property and bust out all the deer. But as you come into there, you're kind of going through this transition from um, a cattle field through this thicket and then into this area that he's prescribed burn. He's done some hinge cutting and look how thick it is. Big buck habitat galore, lots of bedding, lots of browse. You can see a lot of cat briar right here. They browse off a lot of cat briar, but a phenomenal place right here. All right, so on this side of the food plot here, uh, came through, first thing we did was just burn this whole area. And afterwards, we designated this area over here just for bedding. Uh, came through, did some hinge cutting, fell some trees over, and we cut a, quite a few trees out. And as you can tell, it is super thick in here. It really exploded. Uh, we burned it in uh, kind of late winter, early spring last year. And we did have some good growth, but this year it has just really exploded up. And actually, I was coming in here the other day and bumped a, a buck that was just bedded off this trail right up there by that tree about a month ago and it was a pretty good size buck so they're definitely using this and staying in here which is exciting to see. Here we are we're located right here in the middle of this food plot so as you can tell the area around this food plot is thick thick habitat. He's come in he's done a lot of hinge cutting he's come in and done a prescribed burn and it's exploded not only is it bringing in a lot of food and browse for the deer but it's a lot of cover and this is a really really unique situation like I told you guys the setup is so unique he's got cattle country on one side which is just an overgrazed field which there's nothing for deer to bed in there's no sanctuary anything there for him and then this little sliver of woods which a lot of people would pass up right before a creek is just super duper thick it's a nice travel route through here we've got matured timber on each side and this is just a staging area and now he's come in He's got even more browse, he's got more bedding, he's going to have an established food plot. He's going to come in here this fall and plant this in a, a probably a mixture of some kind of uh, greens this year and it's going to be a phenomenal spot. So you just, it's one of those areas that you just know that there's going to be big bucks in here. He's got a lot of buck activity from last season um, and some of scrape posts and stuff in here, but pretty awesome area. It's just one of those areas that you just know it's a special spot when you sneak into it that there's going to be big bucks in here and it does look really, really good. So this area is grown up. Uh, tried to get some clover established in here. Had a little bit of trouble with that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just come in and brush hog it uh, before I get ready to plant it with a fall mix. And uh, like Steven was saying, this is a very unique setup because you have bedding, you have food, and you have water on the backside. And there's a lot of deer that use this creek. But uh, not gonna hang a stand in here. There's nowhere to hang a tree stand in here. These trees are just uh, too young and not big enough. So I had a redneck set up in here, but we moved the redneck to the big food plot. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of get an elevated platform and put a ground blind in here and uh, probably put it back here on this wood line. And I have a trail that uh, came through and cleared out so I can just pull up and walk through this grown up area and sneak right in to the blind and hopefully not bump any deer. But, um, had a little bit of action in here this year. Had a lot of bucks show up later in the year. Uh, they were mainly coming in here 
uh, during night, but now that they know this is an established area, uh, I really do think it'll be a lot more successful come season. All right, so really cool, unique area. I knew this was a special spot when we walked into it last year. Uh, Colby was like, man, I want you to see a spot. I think it's got potential. Came in here, I was like, you have got to do something with this. And it's already exceeded our expectations. This year we expect a lot out of it. We're gonna get in here and plant these food plots and he's gonna get a blind put up. And man, just with this cover, you know there's deer in here. He says that he's already seeing some bucks in here. We've got the spy point in here. He's just refreshed the mineral site, so we are good to go. So we're gonna keep you guys updated on a lot of our unique setups like this, and we'll keep you guys updated on how this setup ends up turning out when we plant the food plot and while we're hunting and stuff. So be sure to subscribe, give a big thumbs up, comment down below, and uh, let us know if you have a setup that's similar to this or maybe even more unique, because it's not every day you get a big creek a little patch of thicket and then cattle country right here uh, but it is really really cool so anyway we're going to get out of here before the bugs get too bad because they're definitely worse here than they were at home but until next time guys have a better than average day i wanted to do that go go i'm filming what are you doing i want what are you doing have a now until next time have a better than average day goodness gracious that wasn't like, very good well you failed you messed me up because you were doing it and i was coming over here just whatever I thought I accidentally <laughs> moved my phone there for